Hello and welcome to your Grace Daily Devotional broadcast. Today we're talking about identity, situational awareness, and purpose. And our text today is from 2 Corinthians 5, from verse 17 into verse 18. It says here, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Then he says, Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Today we're talking about the purpose of the new creation, the purpose of the life that we have in Christ Jesus. He started by saying that if anyone is in Christ, meaning anyone that has confessed Jesus as Lord of their lives, it says that man or woman is a new creation, is a new species, is not the old that was turned new. The old died, a new being emerged in Christ Jesus. And this is something that we have to understand, which is our identity is in Christ Jesus. We have taken on Christ's identity. The man that was born by our ethnic parent does not exist anymore when you give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And every and anything that was associated with that being ceases to exist. Believe this. Because if you do, it changes everything about you. And this is what we're talking about the awareness, the spiritual awareness. We've got to be aware of what is present today. And one of the things that we also have to understand is that God sees us through the eyes of Jesus. He sees through the eyes of the finished work of Jesus Christ. And whatever Jesus has done is irrevocable. It cannot change. It is eternally settled. If God says that you are a new creation, it doesn't matter what will contest that. It doesn't matter what will deny that. The word of God is forever settled. And you have to begin to see yourself as a new creation. Now, maybe a lot of things are going on in your life, you know, like, oh, pastor, if this is true, the thing that I was doing before I gave my heart to the Lord Jesus, I still kind of find myself struggling with some of these things and some of these habits. The reason why you may be struggling with these habits and some of these things is because the knowledge of who you are and what has been granted you hasn't settled yet. Because the Bible calls us the light of the world. It says the light shines in the darkness and darkness comprehended it not. See, this is where meditation comes in meditating on the reality of God concerning your life. And one of the synonyms of meditation is to confess. You declare again and again and again the reality of God's word concerning your life. It's like when we say, I'm born again. It's not just a confession. It is a statement of conviction. We, we are convinced of a reality and we are declaring, I'm born again. It's an issue of identity. I'm born again and I'm full of the Holy Ghost. And I'm born again and I'm anointed by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I refuse glory to God. See, all of this confession is the outflow of a consciousness that we have in Christ Jesus. So I'm aware of who I am. I have been reconciled to God. In, in, in one of the uh, uh, synonyms, or we can say, Another way of looking at the word reconciliation is that we have been, we have been married to God. This union is unbreakable. This union is, is eternal. We are one divine creation with God. In other words, we've been matched with God. Like, you know, you say someone has been matched make in, in a marriage setting. That's what happened to us. God married us, glory to God. He became one with our spirit. 
and made us divine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and that's what we, that's what happened at salvation. But then he tells us also that the reason why we were married to him is so we can marry everyone else to God. It says, and he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. You may as well say this is a divine pandemic. We, he caught us so we can, we can spread it to others so they can catch this divine virus. You know, we, 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 we got something so we can spread it out. And that's what it means. All things have become new. And one of those things is that we have been given the ministry of reconciliation to reconcile our world. Just like Jesus did. The Bible said that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. In the same way, he is in us reconciling our sphere of influence and everyone around us unto him. So we are distributors of the divine life. Again, this is a divine pandemic. We got something and we are to spread it out. And it's very, very, very contagious, praise God. The life of God is contagious. The joy of the Lord is contagious. The victory of Jesus is contagious. And that's what we are anointed to do. So our identity is in Him. And we need to be aware of the reality of that life and the purpose of that life, which is to get everyone in our sphere of influence to know Jesus. Really devotional and it will bless you tremendously. I'll be back here again tomorrow to share the word of God with you today. Take some time and love on Jesus. Show the love of Jesus to someone today. Put a smile on someone's face today. I like to say, give someone a victory. Give someone a lift. Give someone what God has given to you. God bless you. Mm -hmm.